everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favorite bird, Archie. So it's been a little while since we posted a video. We had a bit of a break over the Christmas holidays and into the new year. We went away, uh, not, not Archie and I, but uh, Daniel and I and Sam, we all went away on a holiday. And I tried to get as much content filmed as possible while we were on holidays because, you know, the first thing back to work at the start of the year is always very, very hectic. So I thought I need to get as much filmed as I can before I go back. So I have a few videos ready to edit. Uh, they're not edited yet, I'll get there eventually. But I do have some really fun week-long wear tests coming for you and this is the first one. We are testing out a week-long wear test of shoes from a store called Uvini. Now, Uvini contacted me last year and I did this video for them and they liked it so much that they uh, asked me to do another one. So I placed a really, really big order with them. I picked clothes and I picked wigs and handbags and shoes and then I decided I might just split it all up into a few different videos because otherwise it would have been way too long. So today's video, I am looking at five different pairs of shoes that I've picked. Now I picked these shoes for a couple of different reasons and I'll walk you through those soon. But I do just wanna quickly say that I have had a bit of a problem with the sizing. Now, if you're familiar with buying shoes from Asian websites, you might know that Asian sizes often run a little bit smaller. So I picked a size 40 in all of these shoes that I'm showing you today. So just be mindful that if you're gonna buy shoes, whether it's from Uvini or a different Asian retailer, maybe like Yes Style, for example, you do have to be mindful of the fact that Western shoe sizes and yeah, European shoe sizes, they don't always sort of correspond. So a size 40 for me, some of these are really fitting more like a size 38. So just keep that in mind. Like I said, these shoes were given to me for free by Uvini. So thank you so much to you guys. This is about 300 Australian dollars worth of shoes right here, but for the sake of the majority of my audience, I'm gonna be talking in US dollars today. Uh, a lot of people say to me, you're from Australia, why don't you talk in Australian dollars? There's only about, I think, 5% of the people that watch my videos are from Australia. Uh, the rest are from America and a fair few are in the UK and then obviously the rest of the world is pretty evenly distributed but the majority of my audience is in the States. So I'm gonna talk in US dollars but if you have any problem converting, just hop on Google and just type in 50 US dollars to whatever your currency is and you should be able to figure it out. So with that, let's jump into the shoes. This first pair that I picked, I chose because I had seen these in Harajuku last year when I was in Japan. If you saw my Harajuku video, you might remember spotting them. They are exactly the same shoes that I saw in Wego. And I didn't buy them because they weren't my size. I did try them on, they were a size 40 in Japan as well, but they didn't fit me. Because I had the opportunity to get these shoes for free from Uvini, I did decide to go for them. I didn't want to buy them in Harajuku because I thought I don't really want to go spending that sort of money on shoes that don't really fit me very well. But yeah, these were free, so I decided to give them a try and then I can show you guys as well. So these are called Japanese Sweet Love Round Students Sports Shoes. And I've actually just jumped on the website to bring up the information and there's, there's a picture of me there. I didn't know that, <laughs> I didn't know that was there. Uvimi seems to do, I get a lot of messages from people and they're like, did you know that Uvimi's put you on their website? They never asked me, but I, I guess they, they assume that because I'm making a video for them, they can take my pictures and stuff. So yes, that, that is me in that picture wearing a wig. Uh, that was the day that I wore these shoes for the first time and I took that photo. They are absolutely adorable. They're these big chunky bottom sneakers. They have these cute little love hearts on the side and then they have these sort of transparent laces like this. The next sneakers that I picked up were these. These are pastel, they kind of look like Vans and and I've had a lot of people tagging me in pictures of these shoes in the past. So I was very excited when I spotted them on the website. I also picked up these slides. These are called cute flat plastic crystal slippers and they come in a couple of different types. They've got the strawberry, pineapple, egg and watermelon. I know a lot of people will be really, really excited about these next shoes because the amount of times that I've received DMs with these shoes, it's insane. These are little twin stars sneakers. They are called Harajuku Japanese Cartoon Little Twin Stars Sneakers. My problem here that you can see straight away is that the image that it shows on the website has very pastel pink laces, but these ones are almost hot pink or bubblegum pink. So I was a little bit disappointed by that. But aside from that, they are everything that I had hoped for and more. Let go. Let, no, let, 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 no, 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 no. 
And then last but not least, I picked up a pair of Hello Kitty sneakers. Now, yes, that is a cord dangling out of them because these are battery operated and they have little lights in them. I always wanted light up sneakers as a kid. Uh, so I'm kind of living out a childhood fantasy by wearing these. And I suppose they're pretty good because uh, if you ever had your shoes stolen by thugs and thrown over power lines, at least you'd be able to find them in the dark. So now that you've seen them all, let's have a look at my week wearing Uvini shoes. Day one was a pretty relaxed day. Sam and I went grocery shopping. It was in the lead up to Christmas. We were having some friends over. So it was just a, a pretty basic day, just going out to the shops and picking up groceries. I hadn't washed my hair and I didn't feel much like getting dressed up. So I just chucked on a wig from Uvini and a pair of jeans and uh, a pair of sneakers. The jeans from Yes Style, top from Noel's Kill. The shoes from Uvini. Sam was my cameraman for the day and uh, if you guys know Sam. Sam! Not everything's about you. Everything's about me. Stop. Stop. Stop! Can't take him anywhere. The first problem I encountered was the size of the shoes. When I placed the order with Uvini, I asked for all these shoes in a size 40 and they have all arrived in a size 40 or at least uh, according to the sticker on the bottom, they're a size 40 but my feet are suffering so badly right now. It is horrid. Uh, I would take my shoes off, but um, we're already in the car and driving, but it's very, very sore and it's really, really difficult to navigate with the brakes. I, I don't want to smell your feet. Well, there's that. But navigating with the brake and the accelerator with this huge platform <laughs> on them is really, I, I'm honestly scared. Uh, I think next time we stop at a traffic light, I'm gonna have to take them off because like, it's like I'm driving with bricks on my feet. And like, you know when you're walking at, in, uh, what do you call them, flippers? You know, like swimming flippers and you're walking and like you bump things because your foot is a lot longer than you expect it to be. It's what this feels like. Like I'm bumping the accelerator, hitting the brake when I'm meant to be accelerating. Not good. So Not safe. that's why this has been such a jerky ride. No, I'm I thought just you were just a bad driver. No, no, I'm right. just a bad Blame driver. Blame it on the shoes. Blame it on the shoes. It's the shoes, I swear. So not only were they slightly uncomfortable, they were a little bit challenging to drive in. Update time. Alex lasted all of two seconds. There is the, there is the shoe. There's the culprit. Dumped at my feet. There's the Mind feet. you. Mind you. Like, look at that. Look at that platform. I, I, I wouldn't want to drive in that. That's just, that's a brick. That, that it is, is a brick. brick. My god. It's, it's a cute heavy. Brick. It's heavy like a brick too. Listen to this thud. Listen. This car is where I live now. <laughs> I can't walk anywhere. It hurts too much. There's the tiniest, tiniest little bit of room in there to stretch. Not much. Not, not enough to be comfortable. But there is room enough that my feet fit. So, look, if, if your feet are any bigger than a size, like, 39, either accept the pain and go for it or just just give up give up all hope <laughs> the more i wear them actually i'll wait for this plane so rude so rude the more that i wear them the cheaper they're feeling to me like the inside of it feels just like a really really cheap thin piece of plastic but and also they're very light like you'd expect there to be some weight behind the shoes but they're very very light but hey they do look dad do you like my shoes dad you think they're cool? Very cute. Very cute, thank you. Very cute. <laughs> from Pretty Pastel Dad. So we parked on the street a little bit far away from the shopping center so that I had a little bit of a walk to test out the shoes. Uh, and it took a whole of five minutes of moderately paced, sensible walking for this to happen. Oh no, we've had a scuff. There's a scuff. White shoes, white clothes, they're cursed. Cursed. Every time I wear a white t-shirt, even if I'm not eating, somehow it gets stained. Same goes for white shoes. We're at the shops for a total of about an hour and it took that long because not only was I filming and you know, just trying to get some stock footage for this video, but also my feet were in so much pain that I was walking at about a quarter of the speed that I normally would. Little do you realize I'm using the trolley as a kind of like a crutch because my feet are in so much pain that I can barely walk. Picked up some uh, bitch lasagna, sub to PewDiePie. So my verdict of these shoes. These are some of the most adorable sneakers that I have ever seen. And thinking back to when I saw them in Harajuku, they're exactly the same, exactly the same. And in Harajuku, I think that they were 4,990 yen, which is roughly 50 US dollars. And these on Uvini are 50 US dollars. So they don't seem to be particularly marked up very high. That's the sort of price you'd pay in Japan for these shoes as well. Let go. No, no, no. No, no, it's on to day two now. Day two now. 
So day two is our pastel Vans, or should I say Vanson? It was Daniel's birthday that day, so we headed out to Collaroy Beach to grab some lunch and also to grab some very, very windy footage of my outfit. Well, it's day two. We are out here today for Daniel's birthday. Why am I wearing these sunglasses? These are Daniel's. I don't wear sunglasses like this ever. Sorry, that was embarrassing. This is the outfit I chose for Daniel's birthday. So we have uh, AliExpress, Bromley, UV Me, socks of Daiso, only $2.80. It's too windy here. Just appreciate the look of it and I'll have to do a voiceover because it's too windy. What? It was at this point that I gave up uh, because the wind was too strong and you just couldn't hear a word that I was saying. If you're familiar with Sydney, then perhaps you're familiar with the struggles that you face when you try to park at the beach on a hot day. We had to park about five months away from the beach, so it was a fair bit of a walk, which was a good opportunity to put the shoes to the test, but it was also a good opportunity to get very, very sunburned. It's dangerous times. Two gingers walking in the sunlight. Yeah, I'm ready for uh, we're burning. We're burning to a crisp. <laughs> it was nice knowing you guys. Ah uh, yes, and shoes. Can't, can't forget the shoes. Stay inside. Stay inside, kids. Stay inside where it's safe. Now these shoes are also a size 40 and they fit comfortably without socks on, but as soon as I put socks on, they were just the tiniest little bit too small. Not enough to be uncomfortable. The laces on these shoes are adorable. They've got this pastel pink and blue gradient, which I think is so cute. And they did also come with white laces as well, if you're feeling a little bit more plain. These are $35, and I believe that regular Vans retail for at least $100 more than that. So you're paying a lot less for something that does look quite similar. And they also do feel very well made. These sneakers feel much, much better than the first pair of white sneakers. They feel really well constructed and forgive how dirty they are on the bottom, but the bottom does have a lot of grip as well. They were pretty comfortable. I feel like they'll be very durable. Of course, I'm gonna wear these more than once. I have worn them about three times since I filmed that particular video and they've been totally fine. They're not falling apart, they seem pretty well constructed. So I think for $35, they're actually pretty good. On to day three now and I had a pretty busy day ahead of me. The shoes for day three were these adorable strawberry slides and to celebrate the red theme, I decided to wear a red wig from Uvini. I actually love this wig, but I don't think Archie was such a fan. No, no, it, it really is me, Archie, I swear. No, it, it, that's, that's my eyeball. It really is me. It is. Sounds like me. Kinda looks like me. <laughs> Smells like me. I don't know if it's because the color's different or if it's because the length is different or maybe because there's a fringe. Or maybe he's just suspicious because the fringe is bad. <laughs> what is it, huh? This outfit was my favorite by far. I have this top from Lapsona. I have my jeans from Boohoo, and there's the little strawberry slides. I actually really, really like them. I think they're really cute. They're very, very comfortable, but you know, I'm just walking around at home at the moment. What I have to do is go to the nail salon. I've got to get this really terrible DIY nail polish job removed uh, and just like a clean slate. And then I go to my other nail artist and then she does the nail art. So I'm getting some Christmassy nails. So I'll be doing a lot of walking because I have to park kind of far away from the salon and stuff. So we'll be able to check in and see how comfy they are. We have a last minute addition to the outfit, which is this cute little strawberry bag from Uvini. It's a solid bag. It's really, really cute. All right guys, well, I'm done at the first nail salon and now I have to go to the second one. I know, very high maintenance, right? I probably walked for about 20 minutes in total, I'd say about 10 minutes each way. The nail artist I see that does all the nail art, she can't do acrylics, she can only paint the nails. So I have to go somewhere else to get acrylics put on. So they're all fresh and ready to go. In terms of the slides though, <laughs> oh boy. Wearing them around the house, I thought they were really comfortable. But the second I stepped outside and had to do proper walking, Boy, it feels like I have had a night on the town. I've got blisters and it's not to do with the size It's just to do with the fact that it's plastic and it hurts 
So anyway, part two of the nail saga and I will be back soon. By the way, for anyone in Sydney, I I've had a few people asking me this. The nail salon I go to is called Nail by Cindy. It's a little nail salon run out of Cindy's own apartment. She does such a good job. It's an individual, private business. It's just her. I really love supporting small businesses. So if you're in Sydney, I definitely recommend that you go see her. You can literally show her like any picture of any sort of nails and she can figure it out. That was so cute, she did them so well. Look, there's, uh, I'll, I'll have to give you a close up in the car, but I also got my toenails done and uh, she commented on how painful my feet looked. She was like, I think your uh, shoes are hurting you. I was like, yeah, just, just a little bit. The toes look great, but uh, when you take the shoe off, yeah, that's, uh, ouch. <laughs> a little bit of damage on the pinky toe, but I mean, they are plastic, so I didn't really expect them to be extremely comfortable. I have to go out for dinner now, so I'm going to be wearing these shoes for a couple of hours more. I'm going into the city, meeting Daniel, we're having dinner, uh, I'll be walking again from the car, so we'll see if uh, blood will be shed tonight. <laughs> we had a, a beautiful dinner at a very famous restaurant that used to be called the Lowenbrau and now it's called what? The, the Munich Brau House? The Munich Brau House! We had uh, German food and listened to lots of music and now we're going for a lovely and kind of painful stroll. Yes, the, the feet aren't bleeding yet, no blood has been shed this evening but I still have to get back to the car so there's, there's that. <laughs> But I'll, I'll carry you. You'll carry me off. Oh, thank you, darling. I feel like these are the sort of shoes that'll cause you grief and pain the first couple of times that you wear them, and then eventually your feet will get so blistered and calloused that they'll become invincible and you'll be able to wear them all the time. But uh, until that day, I'm just gonna have to keep taking these off to rest my feet because, oh, it is not pretty. Multi -pass. So these are $23 and they come in a variety of different types. Like I said earlier, there's the pineapple, an egg, watermelon, and then the strawberry. These are super cute and they're very unique, but for $23, I don't know how many people uh, would want to pay $23 to walk around with razor blades on their feet. So look, I'll leave this one up to you guys. Looking back on day four, I can't say that I'm the biggest fan of this outfit. At the time, I was feeling really good and fresh and I thought it looked so cute. But looking back at the video footage, I, I don't know, I kind of feel like this outfit is a little bit disjointed and I don't think the shoes really match. You'll see what I mean. So today, uh, we have a very fun day planned. We're going with Sam's other ex-girlfriend, Grace, and we are buying some chickens. And I mean, live chickens. Alive ones, real ones, birdos, friends. So uh, I thought it was appropriate to wear these overalls from Uvimi because I'm feeling a bit like a farmer. And uh, we got the shoes. These are the little twin stars shoes. So tried to pair the outfit with uh, lots of blue and pink, I guess. So I've got the same bag again with the blue and pink. And then we've got blue and we've got pink and we're all very, very matchy matchy today. So let's go uh, wrestle some chickens and take them home. <laughs> Alive. Given the activities we were doing that day, I actually feel like these shoes held up really, really well. They still look pretty clean. I guess it's because they're, they're not white shoes, so they're not suffering the curse of the white shoe. They're staying perfectly clean. The bottom of them is actually... Hey, no, let go. No, no, no. The bottom of them turned out okay. They're a little bit dirty, but it could be a lot worse considering we were walking through farms and mud and all sorts of things. They turned out pretty well. Anyway, we grabbed a few chickens and headed back to Grace's house. And can I just say, these chickens were really, really well behaved. Hello, little ladies. Oh, sweet little ladies. Oh. I think Archie could learn a thing or two from them. 
so we hung out at Grace's house all day and I was wearing these shoes for hours. I was on my feet the whole time. The shoes are suffering a beating. I've walked through all sorts of feces from all sorts of different animals uh, and they're still looking cute. That's all that matters, right? No matter how much shit is on your feet, as long as you look cute. What do you guys think of my shoes? Do you like them? Go, 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 go. Archie! Hey, come on. This is another Archie. This is Grace's Archie. He's a little bit different from our Archie. Can you, can you see him down there? He does have his head in a cage, a bit like our Archie would, but uh, not for the same reasons. Archie. Come on. Archie. Archie. Everyone's favorite dog, Archie. <laughs> These shoes are by far the most comfortable shoes for this video and they are probably the most true to size as well. These are a size 40 and they actually have a little bit more room than that. They almost feel like a size 41. So I'm really, really happy with these. Definitely the most true to size. What do you think of my shoes? Do you like them? <laughs> Poo's on shoe. Poo's on shoe. <laughs> so nice and toasty. Oh. I like it when they like go around your neck. I'm in my happy place. Hit my happy place. This one's Donna, and that it's one's so Blitzen. Hot. These shoes are really, really popular on Instagram, and I've seen them available at a few different stores as well. So if you've been thinking about getting these for a while, I can definitely recommend them. They're a little bit pricey for $50. I, I do think that's a fair bit, but they are made very well. I reckon of all of them, these are probably made the best, I would say. They're a little bit light. They do look like they should be a bit heavier than what they are, but I think for the style and for the make, yeah, I think, I think they're definitely worth it. The last day was date night and Dan and I wanted to think of a, a fun activity that would really, really put the shoes to the test. And I think we picked a pretty good one. Are you just gonna sit there like that? You're not camouflaged. We can see you. Just cause the chair's green doesn't mean you blend in with it. Okay, so we're off bowling and I think that the key to succeeding at bowling uh, is definitely in the shoes, right? Is that why they give you bowling shoes? I don't know what the purpose of bowling shoes actually is, but today I figured that these Hello Kitty sneakers look a lot like bowling shoes. So with any luck, they will help me to uh, get a, what do you call it? Hole in one? No. How, what do you call it? Strike. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about these shoes, they, they do light up. So I, it took me a little while. I was investigating these for quite some time, trying to figure out where the button was because there's no, no obvious button. Uh, and then after some thorough investigation, what seemed like way too long, uh, I think it's here. Yes, yes, it's here. So you press it once and it, it gives you, oh, well, hang on. Oh no, oh no, d no, they died. You didn't Did you charge the battery? Well, I, I didn't know. What, I didn't even know where the battery was. <laughs> Hang on. What about this shoe? Does this one work? Aha! There we go. We have one that works. So you you press this little spot on the side here, and green, uh, blue, green again, blue again, purple, kind of light blue, flashing blue, red, uh, multicolor, and then off. So. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like one of them's out of battery. So what I did find in here is this little tiny, I guess it's like a charging port and it looks like it just takes a standard, you know, like an Android, kind of like an Android adapter in here. So I guess you just plug it into a USB power port or whatever you want to do. Because we don't have time to charge it, I'm just going to wear them and I'll just... I'm sorry, I mean, I'm useless at YouTube. It's true, it's true, Archie. Expose me for who I am. So I'll just go out with one charged and so we're going bowling and then we're going to the movies. So hopefully I can wear these while we're bowling and then while we're in the cinema, I guess I can turn one of them on in the cinema for you guys to see in the dark. Uh, can, you, can you please, look, they're brand new. I haven't even had a chance to wear them and you're destroying them. Uh, and in terms of the outfit for this evening, we have uh, cute little socks and a skirt from Romwe. And then the top I got in Harajuku and this little scrunchie was made by one of my subscribers. So that's the outfit of the night. The Oon, as they call it in Bloggerland. And uh, yeah, we'll see you at the bowling alley. 
So the first problem we encountered was that apparently you're not supposed to wear your own shoes bowling. In fact, they're so strict about that rule that they wouldn't let us go to the lane until we forfeited our own shoes. Luckily for me, the girl that served us was a fellow millennial female and uh, I said to her, I want to wear them for Instagram and take pictures and she said, Okay, she looked around, checked for a manager. She's like, l l let me see. And she looked at the bottom of them. And she's like, you know what? I think it's okay. They don't look like they'll damage. They don't look like they'll damage the floor. It's, it's okay, shh, it's okay. So she gave me a pair of bowling shoes and also gave me her blessing to wear my own shoes if I wanted to. <laughs> now, unfortunately for me, only one of the shoes had battery charge, but at least you can see what it looked like. The lights are very, very strong. I didn't think that they would be that strong. And there's a bunch of different colors to choose from. Now, I didn't know this at the time, but apparently there's a science to bowling shoes. I just looked it up on Google and it's something about the bottom, you want them to be able to slide because it helps you when you're bowling. Now, I can definitely, uh, say that the Hello Kitty shoes didn't do me any favours when I was bowling, that's for sure. Now, I'm gonna say that it's because of the Hello Kitty shoes that I was doing so badly and not the fact that I just suck at bowling. Dan tried to give me some lessons, it didn't really help. So I eventually decided to take the shoes off and swap them for proper bowling shoes and what you're about to see, I promise you, this was not staged. <laughs> just, just have a look. So look, I don't know what to tell you, but I retired the shoes after that. <laughs> No. These shoes weren't made for bowling, and that's not what they'll do. When we went to hand the bowling shoes back in, the lady that served us ended up giving us some little tokens for the arcade games. So uh, it was a good opportunity to put the shoes back on and give them another try. But once again, they didn't really help us out very much in the arcade either. We put all of our coins into this particular game and it just stole the coins and then it didn't work. So that was a bit of a shame. So we gave up and decided to go see a movie. So we went to see Aquaman. Luckily for us, we were the only people in the cinema so it wasn't too awkward to film. This isn't something that I ever thought I would hear myself say but my shoes have run out of battery. <laughs> Aquaman was epic! Did you like it? Yes. The shoes did come off uh, within the first five minutes of the film, but let's not talk about that. <laughs> okay, so we're back and uh, I'm gonna put these on charge. So I've just got them here at my makeup desk and they came with this cord. Uh, these are just standard Android charging things. So if you have an Android phone, then you'd be able to find those easily. So my little makeup vanity here, I have... I've got a spot for a USB. Okay, oh, there we go. So they flash. Oh, cool. They flash red when they're charging. Okay, cool. There we go. They charged up perfectly and I discovered something fun. If you have them plugged into the cord and you press the buttons, then they change at the same time. So. It's pretty good. Otherwise, I guess you can probably unplug it and then you can have them as different colors. I didn't even try that. Hang on. So we'll put this one on green for Archie and then we'll put this one on pink, if I can find it. Surely there's pink in here somewhere. 
Oh, well, this purple, so that's good enough. So yeah, you can wear them as different colors, and then there's the strobing effect if you're having a bit of a rave. So these, like I said earlier, living out my childhood fantasy. I always wanted light up shoes as a kid, but I never had them, so. So these are 45, do wait, whoa, oh. Oh, I didn't even realize. Oh, there's a mode where it like cycles through the colors. That's pretty cool. So uh, yeah, these are $45, which I think is actually pretty good considering they are light up and you can charge them by USB. You don't have to put batteries in, they just have a rechargeable battery in there. So I think that's really, really good. In terms of how they're made, the front part where the Hello Kitty is, is kind of like a very, very thick rubber. And then the other part just kind of feels like a standard, it's actually the same sort of plastic that these ones are made of. So I do recommend them for the adorable swag factor. But yeah, definitely watch out about the size. So that's it guys, that's my week long wear test of shoes from Uvini. I had a lot of fun filming this video and as you might know if you've been following my channel for a while, this is the first time that I've tried out one of these week long wear tests before. I think I still have a lot to work on. Uh, I'm no Sophia Nygaard yet, but I do love the way that she does her videos. I don't know how she does it though, going out in public and vlogging. I don't really quite have the confidence for that just yet. I will get there. I'm sure that the more that I film these, the, the better I'll get. So if you like this style of video, please give me a thumbs up so that I know that you want to see more. I normally just stand in front of the wardrobe and just try the things on and show you. And then that's, that's it. You don't really see me out and about. But I do think it's really important for me to show you guys that I am wearing this stuff, I, how I would style it. A lot of people seem to think that I just get things, wear it once and then I don't, know, I don't know what they think I do with it. I guess they think I just put it in a box or something, but I do wear everything that I get. And if there's something that I don't think I'm gonna get any wear out of, I donate it. So just be mindful of that. I get a lot of hate from people being like, oh, she just wears things once for pictures on Instagram and then never touches it again. It's not true. I get a lot of wear out of these things and I would love to do maybe like a three month update or like a five month update where I can show you guys after months and months and months of wearing these things. So if you want to see a video like that, maybe in a couple of months time, I can do another check in and show you how these shoes are all holding up. I feel like if anything was going to go wrong, it's probably the light might stop working or, or the strawberry might fall off. Like you never know. So if you want to see a future update about this video, then please let me know below. So with that, don't forget to keep an eye out for some of my other week-long wear tests that are coming up soon. I'm really, really excited. I have some really fun ones. So uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you have subscribed, just check that you are still subscribed because I've had a few people say to me that YouTube unsubscribed them from my channel. Hey, what are you doing? What? Is that your favorite one? So anyway, with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!